Hello guys, how are you all? This is Prashant. So I welcome you all to this topic. So as you can see on the screen today, we are going to talk about the network topology. Okay, it is the information technology 402 or 802, both having the same topic in their syllabus. So I am going to talk about today this only. So first of all, let's understand what is the topology. It represents the physical and the logical structure of the computer network. Means when you are going to establish a computer network in your home, in your office, in your company. So what you have to think that which type of network you are going to design, which type of area you have, which type of structure you want to make. So that that things you have to keep in your mind to make the network. So that term is also known as the network topology. It have two parts. Number one is the physical structure. Second is the logical structure. Physical structure, a physical layout, physical layout of the nodes, physical layout of the nodes. Workstation and the cables means how to place the computer system, how to place the server, how to place the cables. These all the contents are coming under in the one part which is physical structure. Second is the logical structure. It refers information flow between components. Means how the uh, how easily your information will move from one place to another place. These are the things that you have to keep in your mind. So if you are going to categorize the network topology, we have generally bus topology. as you can see here bus topology star topology ring topology mass topology and the hybrid topology so these are the topologies we have so here are the some small figures are given i will explain all the things in the detail so as you can see this is the type of a network diagram if the network is working firewall the core switch and the lan and the other things we can this is the means example i am giving okay so let's understand how to let's understand how to make the topologies you have which type of topologies we have one by one what are the topologies what are the advantage and disadvantages because advantage and disadvantage is important for you that will come in your exam time so let's understand go with the bus topology as you can see with the figure you can see there is a one central cable and it is going this way it is going this way it is going this way and this way this way and this way so what are this this is the central cable this is the central cable main data will flow in this cable only and these are the clients or the work station you can say and they can access the data which is flowing in this cable okay so that thing you have to keep in your mind and the both the end points both the end points you can see this is the terminator terminator means the the uh, signal width will not uh, jump from there or bounce from there okay there will be the one computer which is known as a server okay there will be the one computer which is known as a server which will lead the bus which will lead the bus and it is responsible for all the things it is responsible for all the things so that please keep it in your mind now let's understand what is the bus topology advantage cost effective a uh, small figure is here also a uh, cost effective cost effective means it can uh, 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 means uh, everyone can establish a uh, lan at their home and uh, it is a best example for the lan okay uh, easy to install and maintain easy to expand the network by joining the more cables and good for lan i think these things are clear so now here we have the disadvantage cable fails network fails as i told you center cable is responsible for all everything is in the central cable so if the cable fails network fails heavy traffic reduce the performance as you know that only a one way you have only a single path you have so means if you will uh, if the data is coming more so the uh, data is coming more or going more so your traffic is going to be uh, your speed is going to be slow down slower communication means uh, as uh, you can see the means all the traffic has to move from the one path only so that means slower communication security is very low okay so th that things you keep in your mind security is very low in the bus topology so now next we have a star topology at the background you can see a star figure is there a star figure okay means all are connected in the star figure okay this type of figure you can see in the peer to peer network also this is the peer to peer this is not a peer to peer network it is the star topology in the peer to peer network you will get a one computer device here but here you are going to get a one hub a switch or a router in the middle which is responsible to send the message to spread the message to spread the uh, things between the network so all the nodes are connected with the central hub as you can see all the nodes are connected with the central hub or it can be a router or a, it can be a switch the it, uh, it it uh, this central hub is known as the central junction it is a responsible for all the things means uh, if you want to spread a single is 
virus so you have to ins spread the virus in this hub it will reach all in the all the computer systems this is the start topology okay now start topology advantage fast performance with few network and the low traffic each node has a dedicated to link to hub means uh, whatever the uh, you want to make the link between the computer systems it is responsible for hub only okay you can directly connect your pc or your computer to the hub and you can access all the details whatever available on the network now easy to set up and maintain you can understand this thing very easily centralized management means a hub is responsible for all so that means you can center you can centralize all the data is responsible all the data is flowing in hub only so you can centralize the things from uh, from the hub failure of one node does not affect the rest network means if this system is not working it will not affect impact it will not give any impact on the other computer system or any effect on the network other can do their work easily so addition and removal of the nodes is very easy you can directly add or remove because it is not going to impact on your computer uh, network so you can easily add and you can easily remove now we have some disadvantage make it sure my dear students you have to keep this thing in your mind advantage and disadvantage are very important these both the things can be asked in the exam time or for your uh, better understanding you have to keep the both the things in your mind disadvantage use of the hub increase the overall cost performance of the network depend upon the capacity of hub too much dependency on the central network if hub fails the whole network will go down i think these things are very easy to understand means if your hub should means you should have a hub with a good speed or good quality of this uh, hub so it will be uh, it will not impact your traffic speed and all okay so the hub should be the good one okay and uh, main thing if hub fails the whole network fails that time there is no use of network okay so these things keep in your mind so next we have the ring topology as you can see uh, the ring it is a kind of a ring okay so this is the client this is also a client sorry for writing this is also a client okay this is the ring topology and my main thing the data flows from one direction one computer to another computer in one direction only so make it sure keep it this in your mind the data will flow from one one computer to another computer in the one direction and data data travels in the form of tokens okay sending and receiving by the help of a tokens now tokens are what it contains a piece of information destination of host means who is generating the token along with the data sent by the source of computer means if this computer is going to generate the token if this computer is going to generate the token so this token will reach to this computer system this token whatever the token will reach here now token have the information about this computer system and the information what this computer want to do or want to know okay these are the things if the token is going to be uh, if the token is going to be solve it here means if the uh, the question the query have the solution here then it will sort out here and it will directly send to the back to the computer system now make it sure if it is not going to solve out the the things it will pass that token to the next computer if it is not going to solve out it is going to pass to the next computer a one computer this main computer is responsible can be communicate to the adjacent neighbor computers make it sure it can communicate to the adjacent neighbor computers so these are the things that you have to keep in your mind now the advantage and the disadvantage of the ring topology each node has the equal access of resources each node has the equal access of resources means all can access the things very easily tokens passing makes very organized way i think it is clear to everyone if you are passing one by one one by one so it will be clear to you that uh, it will reduce the uh, reduce the chances of collision traffic flows from one direction at very high speed because you have to go on the same path you have to follow the one way so that's why the traffic flow very easily but here is a disadvantage this is also a disadvantage now let's understand what is the disadvantage so you can see here network uh, if one node fails complete network goes down if any one of the computers not working the token will not flow from one direction okay network is highly dependable on the cables every network is dependable on the cables you can write down this point in every network each data packet need to pass through all the nodes which makes it slow means each data packet has to flow from one direction and has to pass all the net all the nodes okay all the nodes 
if you are sending a one node to the, uh, let's suppose just now in the figure you can see only 15 com uh, four computers are there if it is going to be 14 or 15, 20 computers that and you want to communicate to the number 15 computer system that time how you will communicate you cannot communicate because each data packet needs to pass through all the nodes which makes it slow means just now you can see we are having the four computer systems if in the network we having the number of computer systems more we have 20 systems and i have to communicate to the first 14th number of system so in the one direction i have to reach up to the 1 2 3 7 10 12 then 14 then i will go uh, then I will communicate to my message. So this is the also the disadvantage. It is that advantage and it is a disadvantage also. Okay. So now next we have the mesh topology. Mesh you can see here. Uh, let's take the com example of any one of the computer. You can see this computer is communicating with the cable of this, with this cable to come this, this cable to this, this cable to this, this cable to this, and this cable to this computer system. Means each and everyone is communicating to each and everyone computer system okay each network nodes is connected to every other node receive data from other side Com common example is wireless network so you are, mostly we are using this type of network only okay mostly we are using the this type of network means we can send and we can receive from the both the ends okay this is the mess now let's understand the topology uh, advantage and disadvantage each communication carry its own data load it is a robust Faults can be diagnosed as easily, provide full security and privacy. Okay, so that means you are full secure and private. Each nodes have a, a secure connection in there. Or a, a robust means it is a very strengthening, uh, the, it is it's provided with strength of the signals. Now disadvantage, cost of the cable is very high. Installation and configuration is difficult. Bulk wiring is required. So I think it is pretty clear that how many cables are one computer system requires one, uh, or let's suppose one, two, three, four, five, five cables. Okay, five cables it wants. Now we have that uh, approximately two to four to six, six cables. So now the multiple of the cables we require and it is going to be web there. Okay, so that's why cable cost is very high. Installation and configuration is difficult. As you can, means you know, there is a requirement of a good network designer. There is a requirement of good network designer who can design the things properly. Okay, that's why uh, installation is configuration is difficult. Bulk wiring requires. It is pretty clear to everyone. Now next is hybrid technology. Oh sorry, hybrid topology. Hybrid topology. As yes, you can see here, a different type of network. Here you can say a different type of network but all are connected with the one cable all are connected with the one cable so means mixture of two different cables hybrid means that hybrid means mixture of two different things now hybrid topology means mixture of two or more different networks okay as you can see a star and bus are the two most common examples. star and bus you can communicate uh, connect each other and uh, they can directly uh, share the messages and share the uh, things and you can see this is the one cable is responsible for all the things so this is the hybrid topology now effective and the uh, flexible scalable and the size can be increased faulty detection is uh, fault detection is easy these are the advantage effective and flexible scalable and the size can be increased so these are the things that you have to keep in your mind now the if i am going to talk about the disadvantage costly because it will be the costly surely because you are going to make a two three four network together and it is going to be connect joined together so it will be the costly complex and design so a uh, person requires a good knowledge when you are going to make the uh, topology of that one okay so i think this is pretty clear to everyone so my dear students you can attempt these questions okay those who have attended my previous lectures so those who attended my classes so they can attempt these questions okay so we will meet in the next class we will meet in the next class till there thank you have a nice day. God bless you everyone. Bye-bye.